I wanted to finish on horror. Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Blake from Blake Goes Face and Ben from Nolan TCG. Hello. How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? It has been a while too. Been two weeks in Yu-Gi-Oh, but we didn't actually play any locals uh, the week before. I know you were really missing me, weren't you? Just couldn't play Yu-Gi-Oh without me. Mm. Yeah, that that was it. We Jake all goes definitely away and all of a didn't just openly banish locals for like a week. It was yeah. it in protest? No, that would have been cool. I think it was because of Valentine's Day on the Tuesday. And then after me joking... Okay, but it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the problem? <laughs> See, there, this this was, should not be an overlap. This no. was a joke that I made. <laughs> oh, good, I'm glad. And then no one went to locals. The great minds think alike, I guess. So yeah. I was like, well, I'm not going to locals. And then just no one else went. Lying. Jake didn't go to locals. They're just liars. And then there was just not enough people. They just stayed home in another pretend. state. There was no option for me Same. to go to locals. Oh, yeah, true. Same. That was the thing, yeah. Um, and if then, anyone yeah. was wondering, Queensland was amazing. So was Melbourne. Nah. Um, Fair. Yeah, so. Savage Strike. Wait, are we talking about this week? Yeah, we're talk- talking about locals. So, we're, yeah, skipping, skipping last week. We're talking about this week. Yeah. 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 Last week, nothing happened. Okay. This week? This week. Nothing else really happened. Um, <laughs> who's, build, who's built new decks since Banlist? Oh, well, I mean, you had to. Yeah. Um. <laughs> What? I played Rescue Ace. I think you lost harder than I did, bro. Oh, I no, <laughs> surely not. They, 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 they drop kicked here off the cliff, is what they did. It's still very playable, just not nearly as good. So, I think I played Rescue Ace on Tuesday. I can't, rem- think? I can't remember local on Tuesday. I think you did, because I think I saw a replay of it come up. I was very thankful about this replay yes. having come up, because it meant that you skipped the one where I um, TLDR'd your entire deck and got fucking destroyed yeah because we didn't record that week we did record, we that, did week. record that week you just didn't put it up because everyone was whinging that you were putting up um non uh no we didn't record I... that week i didn't record that week i'm sure you did no, no i didn't record that week because i won locals and i didn't record it yeah f yeah <laughs> big f l um <laughs> yeah because the band said come out and we were still in in the kind of weird period so i just didn't record um, but yeah, this week, I think I played, yeah, I played Rescue Ace. I bricked really, really, really bad rounds one and two. Perfect. And I was like, ah, oh, cool. Four games, no normal summon? Ah, oh, good Lit. times. Thanks. And then today, I showed up to locals with Sprite. And I entered locals with ninjas. <laughs> so, <laughs> that was it. Having barely read them. So I was like <laughs> learning the deck as the day went on. It, the deck's alright. deck's decent. Um, I'm sure once I understand more interactions, I'll be better with the deck. And also, if the deck is the way I want to build the deck. Because it was pretty much just like me putting in the engine, and then whatever flex cards I had laying around. Yeah, you're like, ah, were these you, will go in. Were you following go. Jesse Cotton's list, though? For the engine. But literally, the rest of the cards were just like me grabbing cards out of my sprite deck and out of the trade binder, being like, it all goes in here. More important question: Did you put in our secret tech of Penguin Ninja? Penguin no, I didn't have Penguin Ninja. Are you not aware of Penguin what Ninja? What the fuck is Penguin Ninja? It's a Penguin. It's, it's a, a ninja. Penguin. That's a ninja. But if uh, anyone does recall, we're throwing back a little bit on the podcast before all of the other ninja stuff got announced. They had a uh, Shonen Jump Ninja, a Green Ninja. Yes. And yes, it, they did. Uh, said something specifically about ninja cards. Yes. And yes. Before, because we didn't know about any of the other ninja support that was coming out, we're like, oh, wait, you can use Ninjas. it with Penguin, Penguin Ninja. ninja. Yeah. <laughs> what does Penguin Ninja do? Uh, it's like if something flipped up, it can special summon itself, or it summons itself and flips something else up. I don't know. It do the flippy. Yeah, it does something. I don't know. All right, play it with pot, yeah. pot of uh, inquisitive. No, no. Uh, what's the monster? The level ten. Oh, pot of pot forbidden. Of... Yeah. yeah, play with that. Done. Flip himself. Flip. El Flip. Flippo. Do all of the band effects. Actually, that's what. That's one deck I'm glad never saw the light of day. Not that I was really expecting it to. That prediction princess support that came uh, out. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Because they just have like a flip effect. Um, one, I know. One sided. I'm aware. Why are you aware? Because Lachlan and I built that deck, and then we built it when it came out, and then we 
rebuilt it when the support came out. Oh my god. We tried. The secret life of Blake and Lachlan. We tried. <laughs> Ask Lachlan. We tried with that deck. Um, <laughs> it's, it, bro, it does four band effects. What else do you need? To it turns it. out, <laughs> yeah, it turns out a functional deck around it. Yes. Um, T setting is not acceptable currently. So yeah, ninjas did okay today. They did all right. I, I l definitely lost games because I didn't know what some cards did. So now that I know what the cards do, and I can learn it a little bit better than me having the thought, I want to build ninjas. Starting to kind of get the ninja stuff, and then showing up to locals and being like, I just want to play it today though. <laughs> um, yeah, it'll it'll be better as time goes on. It's anti cash and. There's a lot of cash here in our locals. Why is it anti-cash? Is it because it flips? Uh, so... They summon... Let's say they summon fucking Fenrir or Unicorn or whatever. They go Unicorn effect, you chain maze in, summon Geon from deck, Geon book, face down. Effect. Uh, they can't flip face up. So... If they go... Unicorn, birth, Fenrir... You flip them both face down and then they're like... Uh oh. Uh oh. They have to figure out how to play around it. Oh, okay, so it's just a book of moon engine to counter yeah. cash. Yeah, and then they just attack direct, so you never have to flip them back face up. So no, they just stay fun. set and you they just go direct, 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 direct. There. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is it similar to Flunder in that they don't put up a lot of damage, or...? Uh, you put up like 6, 7k. Oh. With a really good hand you can make game. Okay. But, yeah. So yeah, that's the part of the meta square that they're missing. Yes. I'm definitely going to put Floodgate Trap Hole at least in my side deck. Yeah, fair. Quaking Mirror Force. Black. Did, I uh, tried to make Flunder work, did a lot of watching, um, the... Which YCS was it? El Vegas? Vegas. The Vegas 3B3? was the 3v3. Uh, the one before yeah. the... Oh no, Leon didn't count. So Leon. Must have been the... No, that was I the watched previous a lot of Leon, Leon was pretty banished. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and did a lot of that, and then, yeah, as I said, tried to make Flunder work, tried to, like, turn skip, a lot of that. Like, you can win games, it just feels so bad. Because they get to play, like, they get to summon things, and that's just not how I want to play this game. <laughs> no, <laughs> they you... get to do stuff. It just doesn't make how sense. How dare you? <laughs> I discovered Golden Lord wears high heels. Yes. Yeah. Crazy that. Um, I knew he was fruity. Um, uh, what else? Yeah, Flunder doesn't work. No. Oh, oh, and I did the, the wind-up things on Master. Ah, okay. Yeah. Haven't you already stated that that doesn't work? It does so many things. <laughs> it doesn't do anything. It's like um, a rocket-powered car that burns itself. A rocket-powered car on a treadmill. You start really quickly, and then it just explodes and doesn't go anywhere. And you're like, <laughs> that, oh, cool, oh, no. Okay. Mm. Damn. Yeah. I'm going to try ABC next, because I think we've got three bosses of Dragon back, so... Yeah, it should be decent. I'll, I'll give it a go. Um, I'm considering building that for, like, the actual current format. There's yeah. a lot of things that I want to build at the moment, and not a lot of attention span to build them, or play them, or learn them. Well, if you apply the same logic that you did with ninjas to every other deck, you just sort of show up, build it with the half hour that you have before locals, and then just sort of run with it. Yes. Yes. That seems to be the only time frame that you allow yourself to actually sit down and build a deck anymore. Pretty much, yeah. Just do a deck profile. No. So then you, well, then you have it built. No. Then you get that everyone in like the energy. ninja community, yeah, yeah, ABC then, communities. Yeah, but then you get the deck built and then you take it to locals. Yeah, but it requires effort. Yeah. That's an extra step that I'm but just not But then you get the extra in. video. Nah, we're good. Uh, anyway, my week. Um, so yeah. Didn't ask. I did. Oh, I'm, true. I'm running this yeah, fucking yeah, show. That's fair. Um, so yeah, uh, last week what are we gonna go uh, so I, can smash I was head? in yeah, Queensland, uh, and then no, sorry, that was the week before. The week before I was in Queensland. Uh, last week, my immune system decided to take some time off. Uh, so then, Zero this, out of 10. Been, Zero out of 10 <laughs> this has been recommend. my first locals back since the new ban list. Um, there was temptation to try it here, but I just I. Couldn't be bothered. So in the last couple of days, I've been putting uh, Brand Abyssal together. Uh, it's it's fine. The combo lines are very convoluted to make like the full board, um, which is a big deviation from previous branded, where it was just set up Mirror Jade, set up Brand in red, and then you're good to go. Yeah, you can just vibe. Yeah. 
So that's something I'll have to adjust to and practice with more. Um, and there's two different trains of thought as to how you build the deck. You either build it um, with a lot of bestials or you build it with not very many bestials, like a very small bestial engine just to set up like the continuous stuff. Bestial tito. Mm. Okay. That so was, I'm still undecided as to yeah. which one I do. Um, yeah, so today, uh, what did I first today? I first uh, Dark Magician, which, again, bestials were the biggest bane of that. Who, uh, who do you think? Yeah, I know, but I, did Lords go to Locals today? Yes. yes. How is he alive? He showed up, like, as Locals started. At what time? And he showed up 10 minutes after Locals started. Yeah, 12.40ish. Wow, um, bro. So yeah, verse that Dark Magician sort of full sparkle yesterday. Walked away with it. Um till about five AM. <laughs> uh what was the game after sparkle, that? Sparkle Sparkle. Sparkle and then we yeah, it's cheeky, cheeky little Macca's run. Um oh the game after that was Cyber Dragon. Um that was interesting. Um Dude, who the fuck's playing Cyber Dragon? Again. Oh, yes, see. Who else? Wow. You guys have no creativity, huh? Alright. Uh, game three, uh, versus Cash. Was he wearing his sundress still? I hope so. No, he wasn't Damn. wearing his sundress. Damn. No. Uh, versus Cash, that was the first time I versed full powered Cash. I get what it's trying to do, and I don't really have the side deck properly equipped to deal with it. Or at least I haven't, like, worked out the sides. I probably kept in too many bestials. Some of them... You kept in entire... If you kept in any bestials, you kept in too many bestials. <laughs> no, but I need them for my engine. I want them for my stuff. Yeah. Okay. So then you keep in four bestials. Well, yeah, I didn't side out any bestials. That's yeah. Problem. You probably should have just kept in four bestials. Yeah, I should have taken out some more bestials, and it would have uh, alleviated some of my issues. But I didn't. Who has built full cash? Uh, like about, half of locals. Yeah, it's really? like four or five people that yes. have it. All right. So you're going to get your practice in if you play. Yeah, fair. Um, and then in the last round, I had a mirror match. Um, in games one and two, I opened shit, but I clawed it back in game two. Um, and then game three, he opened shit. So before locals, I was like building my ninjas, and I was like, I hard lose to branded, I think. And Jake was like, Well, at least you don't have that problem. And I was like, You're playing branded. And he was like, No, I'm not. And I was like, Yes, you are. It's very Jake. <laughs> <laughs> it's what I do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, but I don't know. Once I get more in tune with. How this deck plays, I think I'll probably have a better time against uh, Kashira. Um, but yeah, you just need to. It loses to a lot of cards. There are a lot of cards in the game that auto loses to. Book of Eclipse. And you can I had those. those. Book of Eclipse. Or... And Kuk. What about Quaking? I haven't got Kuk, but I don't understand the point of Kuk because then it really only gets rid of. Uh, the if, they, if, they end on, if they end on the full board, it's all meant for triggers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. So, Shangri Era summons. So, the, if they end on full board, they go um, Shangri Era detached to summon. It doesn't detach. Doesn't detach? No. Shangri Era summons, they do something, everything triggers off. No, you, it all triggers off one activation. You literally activate one card, it gets banished, everything triggers. Yeah, okay. Yep. So, you go, eh? Bra! Yep. And then play the game. Yeah, I could do her. And then you cock them. Yeah, we'll see how we go. Um, they use all their effects, and you're like, huh, okay, cock. Okay, so, uh, starting with some news, and we start with Master Duel. Um, so, many, many things have happened in Master Duel. Another ban list? Yeah, um, I took a screenshot of it. Where did I put it? It's an interesting ban list. Let's just put some stuff to two. That is it. I swear I took a screenshot And some floodgate cards. Well, uh, so it was, it was a rough one for him today. <laughs> Amano Iwato. Amano yeah, Iwato! Yes. It is now at one. one. It is, uh, yes. poor Imano. He did not deserve it. Um, uh, he absolutely did. Then, Freezing Curses, um, the other Curses, and Runic Slumber went to two. Just, these are all hits to the Floodgate deck. I'm yep. trying to stall so that Jake has time, and now Jake's given up, so... Yeah, I swear I took a screenshot of it, um, but here we are. Um, I believe, if ABC didn't go to three, it went to three. Um, you know, random fun hilarity ensued. Fun hilarity. Well, there's games happening today. 
Ah. Uh-huh. Because people are playing online tournaments and stuff. Aha, uh-huh. uh-huh. I have it. Okay. So yeah, uh, so Amano Wado to one, See. Runic Destruction, Freezing Curses and Slumber to two, uh, Fusion Destiny getting bumped up to two from one, because no one's playing that engine at the moment, so they're like, ah, fuck it. Uh, Genex Ali Birdman is going, or Ally, I do that all the time, uh, going to three. Why could not be Ali Birdman? It should be. Uh, Thunder Dragon Raw also going to three, because no one gives a fuck about Thunder Dragons, even though Colossus is still legal. And yeah. Orcus Harp Horror to three. The boy's free! How did it Jake not remember this? I remembered, I just didn't remember the other ones. I wanted to finish on horror. Yes. Jake always finishes on the horror. I do. <laughs> um, so, that one comes into effect as of... Um, like... It says February 28th. Yeah. Isn't it like... So that's less than a month from the last one they did. <laughs> two, three, two, three days? Three days? Uh, yeah, it's literally Tuesday. Yeah. I don't, know why they've, I don't know why they've brought it in so quickly. Like, I, I appreciate three it. list this month. Yeah. Literally four. three band lists this month. Four, if you include the <laughs> one that they had to update. No, no, no. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they had to half make a band list. Yeah, so they had the... Uh, they have two festivals running simultaneously at the moment. Yeah. The Legend Anthology Tangent. and the Xyz Festival. Um, so they started the Xyz Festival uh, a little bit later. So I think the anthology ran for a week and then they started the Xyz Festival. Um, they immediately ran into the problem that uh, they managed to forget to ban... I can't remember which C it is. Is it Retaliating C? Yeah. Uh, the one that the says... The one that forgets X is sexy. Yeah, the one that says you... Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, that bug. For 24 hours, Xyz Festival was the most cringe shit ever. Because <laughs> everyone go, had it. They would go have this bug that was all pretty much and like you always have that problem of people not playing Xyz and yeah. then like they're just playing decks yeah, yeah like Labyrinth is a big one people always want to fucking play Labyrinth in this you said thing. you um so Labyrinth yeah Labyrinth is just going to replace Eldritch oh yeah it is, it is just Eldritch but with mummy card instead of zombie with heals I don't respect that deck at all and I've said this a million times on the podcast but now that there's no Ronin Toad, and I'm like, what is my trap deck that I play? Who said you had to play a trap deck at all? But I like Paleo. Okay, but that's just Paleo. That doesn't mean you like trap decks. Yeah, but I want to play it. <laughs> then just play it. Are you saying? But no. I can't make it totally awesome anymore. You could. Where is you just have time? to try really hard. Aquamador. Wait, couldn't you do Paleo Sprite? Surely that's a thing. It is a thing, but... Bahamut Shark. Oh yeah, just play your fish deck and then yeah. summon Toad. Yeah, I, we lost the third copy of Fish so nice and I had to order one from Europe. <laughs> <laughs> I finally, it was like, oh, I can finally build it. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, so yeah, um, as I sort of alluded to before, we do have the two festivals going at the moment, which is the first time that they've ever run two festivals at the same time. When you see, Jake, it's because they're just rerunning one of them. Yeah, yeah, one of them's a rehash, and even then they managed to fuck it up because they didn't just copy-paste the same band list from last time. Um, the thing, they've obviously accounted for this as well, because both of them are half as long as what they used to be. It used to be that you got up to 2,200 medals, and both of these are 1,100. Do both. Yeah, it's no. super easy to do both. I just played the fucking anime one and then realised that it's not all anime decks. Oh. I realised when my opponent went full combo in speed roids and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's really weird the stuff that they've let in. It took me ages to actually find a deck of yeah, mine that I didn't have nuts, to, like, craft yeah. that was legal. I thought I'd get away with Ignistus. I'm like, oh, Ignistus is super anime. Every good card is a one. All right. Every good card. Um... So I I wow, went the big heroes. brain play, and I just played the blue eyes starter deck they gave you. <laughs> I tried, I tried. Oh, it it's, sucks! It fucking so, sucks so bad. <laughs> but here's the bizarre. Would be sage and shit and alternate or nah? I uh, there's no sage. Yeah, I was gonna say you don't get sage. Um, um you do get the how, new. How do you start? Um, you do get the new king of D, which is actually a kind of right. fucking bonkers yeah, card. Actually, that's that's literally the only way you start the deck. Um, you do, however, get a really busted card. Mystical Elf. 
Yep. Mr. Glove beat down. No, no, it's the ring trainer, Mr. Glove, isn't it? Yeah, it's it does the same thing. Did you just set it? Uh, yeah, normally. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, so, that was the most bizarre experience I've ever had playing Yu Gi Oh! So, I log into the event, not knowing the conditions of the event or the band list. I pick the blue I started deck, I'm like, let's go. Win seven straight games. And I'm like, this is really easy. That one deck that I versed before, I didn't realize how that got in here, but this is still easy. And then proceeded to lose 15 more games. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, the, a combination of me bricking and the times when I didn't brick, I got hand trapped. And I was like, why are hand traps legal in this? It, yeah, so, so, so there's only Full like combo, three... three masked heroes. I don't know. Heroes are legal. I do remember getting whomped by heroes because Dark there's no war. such thing as fucking hand traps in it um so yeah i tried with blue eyes i failed i tried one of the other ones as well i can't remember which one it was it's not red eyes what's the other one there's like red dark eyes magician. blue eyes and no dark magician isn't one of them oh dark magician isn't one of them no oh dark magician's oh. really bad then <laughs> so because i kept playing dark magician players and if i wasn't playing people with the starter deck i feel bad for those people yeah, so they, I'm, I'm certain that they didn't put Dark Magician as one of the selected ones, so that you would be forced to, if you want to play Dark Magician, buy the structure decks, because uh... that's what I intended to do. I, I assumed that Dark Magician would be one of them because it's fucking red eyes and blue eyes. I was like, yeah. oh sure, Dark Magician is the last one. It wasn't, and then I was like, oh well, look, I still kind of want to play it just because like it's the anime -ish kind of bullshit. I'll do it. It has so many fucking ultras. Yeah, yeah. That's why I didn't just amount of build, ultras. That's why I just didn't build blue eyes. I was like putting it all into the thing and I wasn't even halfway through the deck list and I was like, this is no. This no. This will not stand. So there was <laughs> This will not do. <laughs> there was a point when I was trying to genuinely play blue eyes, and then it clicked in my brain. I can just summon Chaos Max and it's tough for a lot of decks to win. Yes. So I was just going Chaos Max Turbo, Chaos Max Turbo, attack, 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 attack. So by the time I settled on the deck that I wanted, which ended up being Time Thieves, because nothing got hit in Time Thieves, uh, I found the rest of the event very easy, because I could deal with Chaos Max, because I had a non-target bounce. Ah. ah. I, uh, in one game, played against Box of Friends. Okay. Like, the actual, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. One where you like summon Geppetto all the, and all the yeah, you nonsense. summon yeah, yeah. the actual Geppetto. box of friends. What a nonsense! And it, <laughs> I'm fairly sure it tried to like soft lock me so I couldn't attack the box of friends, but it had a monster with like zero zero in defense position that was like, You must attack this guy. Ah, uh, yeah, and so I was like, like Game, <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. I had fun in this first level. The 11 straight games I lost in the middle, not fun, but rest After of the event that, was fun. Yeah, it looked variants, it's fine. Um, so yeah, do you, have you played any of the festivals? I did the XYZ one, not the... And what'd you play? Uh, Yosinju, I said. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, yeah, I also played Time Thieves in that. Um, just with more hand traps. Yeah. It, I didn't have to craft it. Um, the only thing I did craft was Baguska. Because I was like... Bagook! Being that everyone else He's has sit. to play Xyz, I can just summon Baguska, stall them out, do an attack, and then summon Zeus. Yeah. Zeus is limited to one, by the way. Oh no. Oh no. They're gonna use the cashier cards to rip it out of your extra deck. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's the thing, because like so many decks are built to go second. Like Zoo is just so rampant in there. Yeah. I was so tempted to run a copy of Cherries to like let them go to battle phase and then in main phase two be like, ha, Zeus, Cherries the Zeus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I was like, if you only have one, like fuck you. Give me. Yeah. Um, Galaxy. Eyes is another big one. Oh, yeah, it's OTKs to be fair. beyond easily. Um, Galaxy Eyes is a cool deck, so I rate it. Yeah. People who can play that, like, garbage deck is just, like, good for you. The cards are cool. The newest support dragon that they got, no, sorry, not the newest, because, it's like, great. in Master Duel, the Detachi one. Yeah. That card's bonkers. Detachi adding Nista? No, 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 no. Why is that not an adding Nista card, Jake? It is. Detachi adding Nista? I mean, it's close to one. There's one yeah, that the, yeah, definitely... Yeah, but that should be one. Detachi it should be the Xyz should be called Detachi at Ignista. Oh, yeah. Well, there's one that's called Achichi at Ignista. Yeah, and this one should be called Detachi at Ignista. Anywho. I'm right. Anywho. Um, I can't remember what I was saying. But it's fine. Um, so yeah, in terms of Master Duel, um, the other stuff that's coming up, um, I, I'm sure that everyone's logged in and done like their seven days of anniversary stuff. Yeah, it was really disappointing. Yeah. What did you get for your 
free Starbucks. Um, Roy Rose. Um, I think I got like honest Neos. No, like Neos. Um, I got shit. My three sucked, yeah. and I was like, "It's been a shit festival." What were my three? I got um, Stratos as one of them. I was like, "I'm never playing Heroes," but I appreciate it. I got the Hero packet. It gave me fucking Neos. I was like, "Fuck." Well, once the new stuff comes out, I'm sure that'll be great. Yes. Totally. Yep, yep, yep. Um, oh, I'm fairly sure I also scrapped one of the ones that I got. <laughs> I didn't Good. think you could. I had a card in my collection that was Royal Rare and Anime, and I scrapped it. <laughs> Maybe you can. I was like, I'm never going to use this junk. <laughs> um, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to. Um, sometimes they just soft lock those ones, yeah, and they're just, just like, just oh, like because we gave them to you for free, items, you yeah. can't just yeah, like lol, fuck give it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm sure everyone's gone and done that. Um, we also have another weird sort of celebratory thing going at the moment with the baseball thing. But they didn't give us the baseball rotor. Yeah, no baseball rotor. <laughs> um, they've given us the baseball UA? kid icon. No, it's just no, some weird it's a, baseball overlap. It's like a collaboration they're doing with some anime in Japan we about three chicks that play baseball. Yeah, oh, it's, it's, of... it's weird. It's not related to any cards that have existed before Except now. for some reason they did an alt art rotor that we're just not getting. In Master Duel at least. We might get it later on. I just want the Altart Rotor. It's a cool rotor. You can't fucking have it, okay? I just okay. Want to have a baseball cool. Man Thanks. Rotor. Um, Ultimate so. baseball kid. No, it's not. No, a baseball no, kid. it's not to do with it has anything. Nothing to do with it's it. It's nothing. But this card is so funny. It's nothing to do with him. He doesn't matter. No, 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 no. Um, so. Don't worry. Continue. 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 So, continue. Um, the power pros. Yeah, them bitches. Um, so, you get the icon first, which is the dude with the baseball bat doing that. Yeah, 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 that. Exactly that. Uh, so you get him first, then you get the vanilla uh, level four that has an absurd amount of defense, um, and then you get the how much defense? Uh, I think it's like twenty two, twenty three hundred defense. Fire! What a stick! Power creep and Yu-Gi-Oh is rampant. All right, what a wall! <laughs> um, and then oh, the third one you get is the Harpy Latest Sisters with the baseball women. Yeah, I don't yeah, understand. Yeah yeah, 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 that one. It's got. This is not a stick level. Six in 1950? Garbage. No, I think it just copies the stats of Harpy Lady Sisters. Oh. Is it this one? That... Yo, it's 2400! This thing's massive! And it has attack points. The... It's got back a in my... Back in my day, high defense monsters attack. had no attack or attack. fuck all attack. Yeah. What, 1300 on 2k booties the highest? Yeah, I think so, right? Yeah. Which card's that, Jake? No idea. The Giant Soldier of Stone. Oh. It is. Fun facts with Ben. Uh, so yeah, that's I sort of where Master Duel's at at the moment. Um, I did see in a recent data mine, though, uh, that they have got information on upcoming animations. Uh, and, and one of them is a Tyrell element card. Tyrell element Collider Heart is one of them. Great. They, Shocker. They be coming... Shocker. Now, but the fact that it's already in there means we, it may be coming a lot sooner than what people may one. have been hoping. We get them on the other pack expires. Don't make me do this again. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me be right for a second time. But what if they just don't bring them in this time? What if they just pull an illusion of chaos and just keep pushing them back? Didn't they get it? No. They've got it now. Yeah, yeah, they got it. Because they right. had a reason to. I saw so like, screeching about it. Yeah, yeah it was the only reason that his deck started to work in Master <laughs> It's true, I that's why he started streaming, bro, because he could fuck his decks functional. I had people fucking use that against me in the anime festival, and they'd use it, and I was like, oh no, you're gonna get Magician Souls. Oh, you didn't? Oh, I won. <laughs> you're like, what? Okay. You're gonna draw two cards? Count them? Two cards? No? Okay. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, sort of where Master Duel's up to at the moment. Uh, as for the proper game, as Blake and uh, Ben have alluded to before, we did have the 3v3 in Vegas. Uh, okay. Weekend Ve just passed. Okay. Cash your reward. Yes, it did. Wow. Uh, so, Spoilers. so I didn't get a top 32 breakdown because there would have been fucking still like... 90 decks. decks. Yeah. Um, so. You were correct, 96 Hi decks. Hyperbole. Yep. Hyperbole. All right. Okay. I'm sorry, I thought you were just anyway, math and the top anyway. eight yes. was 11 Cash Tira, 7 Branded, 5 Heavy on Despiar, 2 Heavy on Bestial, uh, 4 Labyrinth, 
one life twin sprite and one ten year salsa. Wow. One. Ten year salsa. The rules of the three v three were: did you bring the same deck if you wanted to, or did yes. it be different? An entire team could bring the same deck if they wanted. In to. fact, that's what the winners did. Yeah, yes. I was about to ask because I'm pretty sure I remember seeing the people who won just all playing. Then you have like Team Jesse Cotton, which is like branded, branded ninjas. <laughs> Hell yeah! That's how you say that. Go ninjas. Go branded. Uh, so yeah, the Kashira team won it, which is very cringe. Although I don't know if they all won their matches, like obviously two of them did, but I'm hoping that one of them just got like fucking dunked on by some remember, random ass deck. Remember in the, by fucking, Labyrinth. the final that guy just like locks all the zones. Yeah, we're about so, to get to that. He locked nine zones in the final. Did he? Yep. What one did he leave? This one. Okay. And the EMZ that can't lock. Yeah. So sure, couldn't. Yeah, that's right. But against Branded, what it's if like left this one. Well, it's Branded. You oh, you leave, leave this one. Like, okay, if Brain yeah. and Fusion go here and win. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you literally cannot give them a spell on trap zone. Yeah. yeah. Instead, he left this one. He played hard into the normal summon of uh, Alistar. No, no, no I, neither of those cards. Fallen of Albaz. Yeah. He hard played into normal summon of Fallen of Albaz and he didn't get punished. Good. That would have been funny. Easy claim. That's the thing. If he's got the big Xyz that pops things, it's not going to matter. I think he had already popped something. Because it can't lock all nine zones without interaction. Oh, okay. So, I don't know. Because it's, yeah, it's. It's a pretty funny You interact funny photo lock now. two, they interact lock two. Yeah. I don't know. It's a funny photo. Uh, but yeah, so this format really is shaping up to be. Fun. Eh. Uh, it's an easy. You, you can counter the deck, no problem. You just need to actually focus on countering the deck. You're playing branded, you'll be fine. Oh yeah, once I know what I'm doing, I'm sure it'll be fine. But yeah. today I was like just throwing shit at the board to see what would work. Just, ah! just so I, I told him before, I had the mirror with Chad in the last round. Um, game three, Chad opened garbage, so there was like nothing on the board. Um, I had everything I needed in my hand, and my brain just deleted a part of the combo and just sort of whacked them together. So instead of going... Um, Aluba search Branded Fusion Lubelion search a different card mm. I just went Aluba search a different card and then I didn't have access to Branded Fusion <laughs> I just fucked it up so it don't care. you have Ash anyway yeah that's true he had Ash but yeah I just I just small brained it so bad you were like ah. but what if oh shit what if I don't play into Ash by not doing anything at all but he can't use it if I don't do anything <laughs> <laughs> Passing is the only thing they can't count on. True, true. Um, so opponent activates second turn. <laughs> you take a second drastic turn. drop off. Uh, so we do have uh, a little bit of uh, sort of flavor uh, stuff coming out for the 250th uh, YCS, yep. uh, okay. which is happening in three oh, different countries. I saw this map, right? Uh -huh, uh -huh, oh. uh -huh. So yeah, they've released a specialty map that'll be given out at all three YCSs. As well, then as it's not the 250th YCS; it's the 250, 251, 252. Correct. Yes, because after YCS 200, I'm fairly sure the next YCS was YCS 204. Oh yes, I'm yeah. with you. Yeah. So they counted the three YCSs as one YCS, but then also counted them as three YCSs. Oh, so they're doing it like rankings. They're like equal 200th. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Definitely. And then afterwards they're going, 254. I, I might actually... So if someone try tries to sell you a map from the 201st YCS, they're lying. Get them. <laughs> um, yes. But yeah, so, so this one has a, a graphic of every prize card that's ever been given out. It's so fucking hot. It's going to be worth a fucking mint. Eh. Nah, that's a nice point. Actually, it depends on how common they are, because the 200th one, the gold common, star... Because it was an entry play map. Yeah, but is this an entry map? Could be. Uh, where, are the, where are the all three YCSs? Uh, London, Bogota, and... That's not a real place. LA. <laughs> yeah, Bogota isn't a real place. Racist! <laughs> it's not. Where is it? South America. Oh, it is a real place then. I thought it maybe was in the US, and I was like, nah, not a real place. Nah, it's probably like Florida or something is the last one. Oh. I don't know. We're, right. not, we're not getting 250 at YCS. All right. 
Fuck off, Sadie. We, we were lucky to get the YCS that we got. <laughs> yeah, true. We got YCS 125? 175. What was the magician? Dark magician. Yeah. Yes. Was it 150? 175? Uh, no, it was 125, wasn't it? No. I thought it was 125. 125? It was back in 2017. There's been quite a few YCSs since then. There was also two years of no YCSs. Ah. Electric desktop knife sharpener YCS 125 yellow blade grinder. I need to buy one of those. Yeah, let's... let's... I need to buy a YCS 125. <laughs> oh, oh, no, what the fuck is this? Yeah, see? What is this garbage? Maybe it was one. It's the Noble Knight one. Noble Knights? Yes. What, what was 150? Oh, no. Oh, maybe we're not... Uh, y- yep. So Ben's having a I was right moment? Yeah, I think so. Okay. You always have a you are right moment because you like to like find loopholes and shit. Like, you're fucking banless bullshit. Mm-hmm. I'm always right. There so, we go. Yeah. I should really know what that thing is because I have two of those mats. Those are weirdly sometimes really expensive and sometimes worthless. Japanese. See. That is that is why. Um, yes. Next point. Uh, yeah, so, uh, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? I wonder if they'll do a dice again. Oh, yeah. Would be nice. Oh, yeah. We do time. Um, I'm struggling to find any other bits of news. Come on, Jake. News. There's two weeks worth of news and you've done nothing? What are you doing? Oh, no, that's the other thing. Stop okay. No, no, no. I've just got a bunch of screenshots that um, I don't care about. So, uh, we do yeah, have the next announcement of, uh, the Battles of Legend. Oh, yes. It feels really early. That's because they are actually bringing it back to the original release date of Battles of Legend, Jake. Uh, you will now notice that it is releasing on the 23rd of June. Uh, oh, that's actually yeah, really good. Yes. Uh, 23rd of June, meaning it's going back to the original Battles of Legend release date pre-COVID, when we would get, like, the reprints of all the good meta stuff right before WCQ. So, we're back, baby. Assuming that WCQ isn't before this date. <laughs> <laughs> uh so yeah um so this one is called uh battles of legend i lost the name uh battles Rob of legend King. monstrous revenge oh yes uh so uh printing welcome labyrinth so some of the new cards we're getting uh dark magician of the knight of dragon magic uh oh, arms and neos like shit, right? assault yeah. synchron they're all shit. numbers last hope odd eyes rebellion exes dragon and rocket coder rocket coder solid yeah it's a good card um but, more importantly, this seems to be the first and possibly only set that we're getting our quarter century rares. Oh! Quarter century rare Dante. Ah, uh, that's the thingy, right? We've been over this. I don't think we've seen it. Have we? Oh, quarter have centuries? We? Yeah, I haven't seen uh, it. I think century. they exist in the OCG. Yeah. They're possibly what that change of heart was that we saw the other week. Oh, maybe. Um, it's a nice looking change it. of heart. Century. That's eyes, that, like red eyes, yeah. like really red. That's Quarter century rare Yu Gi Oh. Let's go images. I'm not putting this up on the screen. Are you not? Google it yourself right now. Make sure to keep this video on in the background. It's really hard to actually make out how it's supposed to look. I'm sure it looks better in person because this looks fucking horrendous. Um, But anyway, yeah, that seems to be the first set that we're actually getting them in. They're Um, they're doing it in some really obscure cards, to be honest. Like Dante is one of them. Uh, Sky Striker. uh, Dark Arm Dragon. Um, the alt art of Mobilizing Gauge, um, Labyrinth, Labyrinth, uh, Rider Mab- Aramisir, uh, oh, Zeus. Shit choices. Yeah, it is really kind of shit. I would very much have preferred them to just do like, so do 25 of them, but do like the most iconic card from each year of Yu Gi Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah. That That's a great cool. idea. They look like, like Platinum Dante Star. was a good choice. Dad, Dante. good choice. The yes. rest? Oh, Engage. Engage is a fair choice, but at Just the same the time... Altar. Yeah, the altar. Yeah. Yeah, no. Nah. Um, I have heaps of ideas. Altar, they could have done, like, they could have done a no, Judgment, they could have done, a, like, a, a D-Ruler, they could have done Megalo, they could have done... Zodiac Barrage. They could have done hard. But, like, you're gonna tell me that Mermail didn't, like, take over a full year and a half of Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, Mermail changed the fucking landscape of the game. Like, you could have just given it to, like... <laughs> What Abyss year tapes. was this? The year as when... I started playing competitive. In 2013? Okay. 
Because, like, the dragon Only rulers 12? are kind of in that area as well. Oh, no, yeah, it was, like, D rulers, like, D rulers judge uh, spell books. Yeah. Then it was, um, Mermail and... Hat? Yes. Okay. They were, like, the WCQ that uh, America had that was, like, just m- fish. <laughs> it was just all fish. <laughs> um, the, the, the WCQ was in the ocean, is where it was. Um, what else? What was before... Wind ups, probably not. Um, yeah, give us Zen means. Yeah, um, yeah, there's heaps of good ideas. You can do the OG ones as they've done. You can do like the that's fine. There's, they should have done that. Yeah. Instead, we're getting this dog shit. So it's just a bunch of random fucking cards, and then like yeah, they they should have thought about it better. Yeah, the fact that there's really any of the new cards in here is a little bit obnoxious. Like, I don't think Rite of Aramisia belongs in there at all. No. It's not one of the most 20, 25 most iconic cards in you. Especially not for the TCG. We like should make OCG, that list. OCG, I 100% agree. OCG. last year's option. Yeah. We like, should make that list. Anyway. Um, what is the most iconic card of every year in Yu-Gi-Oh! And whether or not they should be 25th anniversary or is. Yes. We're oh, making that video. I thought we were going to do like a... Um, just top 25 most influential cards. Would you no, want to do each year? Both. Yeah, okay. The most well, you, want to do, year. you want to do the Forbes top 50 for Hikio? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Because that's what they should have done. It is what they should have done. Power rankings. Power rankings. The issue is if they opened it up to the public, it would just be women cards. No, Every single number one, one would be Submarine Royd or some stupid shit. Number two no, no, would often. be no, Evil no, no, Warrior. No, no, no. no, no. Yep. Here's the problem. It would be Ray and you know it. Oh, yeah. Nah, it'd be Morphin. It would be the, the chicken. What, what was the, the Morphin dude? Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. The one that they literally didn't open poll for. And they were like, pick any card, we will make product for this card. And the OCG voted for Morphin. That, like, Lit. level 5 with, like, 1550 attack and... <laughs> what are you saying? Lit! <laughs> Do you not know this card? <coughs> There's sleeves and shit that exist for it. Because the OCG <coughs> did, like, a vote for the product. I have no idea what you're talking about. How, How do you, you not know this exists? Oh, because it's OCG. I don't give a fuck. I want these sleeves still. <laughs> If you have these sleeves, I have access to these sleeves. Either post it in the Discord or send me a packet. <laughs> Maybe Gross. both. Is it morphing jar? No, it's like morphine or something like that. Now I've got to remember where we're up to with questions. I think it was here. That was questions. Questions. Yes, of course we have questions. Now, where are the questions? In our Discord. Uh, so, if you wonder where we do have a Discord, link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, That's and ask us questions. Segment. Our first question <laughs> this week comes to us from Crobat5. Hola! Uh, it's Crobat his, his question is, do you think it would be funny to play Oyamas or Ojamas no. in this format just Oyama. to annoy people uh, or other Kashira decks when you lock out three of their monster zones? Kashira does that and so much better. Okay. Can you let... do that in Kashira? No, because a... you're locked into Xyz once you start doing it. Can you just summon Ojama? Can you just set a trap? Time? I don't know if you can. I also think it takes four cards out of your hand to do it, and I don't think it's Chirik and then lock the rest of the zones with one card. <laughs> you know, it's it just straight up, it doesn't work. It yeah. doesn't work. Let no. me let me give let me spit some advice here. If you ever think to yourself, hey, this would be really funny to annoy people, um, you aren't the funny one. They're laughing at you because they hate you, just don't do it. No, the, I don't think like they hate from you. experience. Yeah. I think you've activated Polly. Sent you three Ojamas to the graveyard to summon this, and your opponent goes, Special summon Fenrir. <laughs> Battle phase, declare attack, effect banish, attack directly. I have all my zones back now. Yeah. It, right. It's just like those decks, like people that go to locals and like do that shit, it, it's like, it's maybe funny once, and then people just don't want to play against you, which means you don't get friends. Genuinely good option. Play Ojama Jaw or Ojama Trio. Give your opponent three monsters that they need to clear so that they can actually play fucking Kashira. And activate Dark Hall and blow them up? It's fine, you burn them. They take 900 damage. Yeah. Is Chain Burn good this format? No. Why not? Because it's Chain Burn. Where's your draw? There's too much back row removal. True. But there's no red reboot. There is no red reboot. Okay, so you chain all your things to the Lightning Storm. You don't get damage on board because that's simply not how the deck plays and that's then they kill you anyway plays. yes that's and true. they just boot you out of the game if it were a question of just setting five back row and burning them for game immediately it wouldn't even be a question i mean but if you activate one, threatening raw hear me out what are they gonna do set up full board 
Yeah, but then what? Keep your balance of judgment. Block out your back row. Yeah, but then you normal um, Alistair, and then you search Invo. And then they banish it with Fenrir, and then you're up Shikari. Oh, <laughs> nah, you're fine. Um, You've got stuff in grave. Lord in hand, Lord of Prison. Reveal it. Yeah. Your opponent can't lightning storm you. Yeah. Evenly is not prevalent in this format. You just keep fucking, like I just said in my internal monologue that I said out loud, balance of judgment. You keep your balance of judgment. Yeah. They start playing, you flip the balance of judgment, get it all back. Yeah. And they've already done their battle phase, so now we're in main phase two. You're not going to die. Yeah. You just go, whoop. So, By all means, if you want to play deck profile income. fucking burn Chain this burn. format, go for it. I'm going to use the big brain. D- no. That's not what that deck's about. You keep missing the point of the deck. It's small brain, it's back row. <laughs> Maybe this is the trap deck that I build. Fuck behind the three trap brick structure decks. Anywho, next question comes to us from 6 r 6 What app slash program do you use slash recommend for cataloging your Yu-Gi-Oh collection? Uh, none, because <laughs> I, I, I need to do that. <laughs> um, so if any of you have recommendations, let us know. Yes, please uh, let us know. I think there is... I think it's called like Card Collector Company or something like this. There's a bunch for Pokemon that are implementing uh, other card games on like Magic and Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff like this. Um, if you can find one that's for Pokemon that has Yu-Gi-Oh in it, just do it because it's probably been around for fucking eight years because Pokemon players have been wanting to track their collections for like the better part of a decade. Um, so just go find one of those. I have too much cardboard to track. Oh yeah, we're assuming this is coming from a perspective of somebody that can be fucked to do it. Uh, it is too much. Like what? Me and Jake together own four boxes of the big bulk plus like ten binders. We're yep. looking at. Yeah. And then about my that. personal collection is the issue is double two, that. <laughs> the issue too is you've got to like take everything out when you sell stuff too, and then it's like uh... yeah. This so is no. We did have Fast. one suggestion from Jesse, uh, collector without the. O at the end collect R apparently that's a good one to oh, do it I thought you were going to say a second word let me have a look no just collect R um, next question though comes to us from Smithy46 Very big up first Smithy. comment oh, no he made a comment a couple weeks ago he made a comment a couple weeks ago Wrong thank back. you for coming back <laughs> <laughs> why I don't know why you would but here we are but, wow again I've I said don't... this before too <laughs> Why do I keep inviting you on? I don't know why, we, why people come back, but anyway. Anyway, his question is, would the game be better or worse if there were no generic extra deck monsters? What if Apo was oh. to lock to requiring specifically fairies? What if access code specifically required talker monsters? Seems like it would be a fun way to encourage creativity in deck building. Uh, I think it would be the opposite of that. But also, de- uh, Jesse, good suggestion. I'll credit where it's due. So, does it not just like... Inc- just? incapacitate people building deck lists so th- this is this is a weird perspective to coming at so i'm now going to present the case of two casuals okay so, okay wait casual number one casual number two casual number one yes wants all extra deck monsters to be archetypal specific of course he does fucking igni- uh invo player what are they called i don't care Casual number two is a famous YouTuber with 1.7 million subs who makes a 40 minute uh, Yu Gi Oh video bitching about how modern Yu Gi Oh is fucking broken and shit's bad despite the fact that. Uh, I don't know. I, it was a fu- guy that was on Farfa's channel. I watched his actual video. Oh, I was it, like, it's not just Farfa. <laughs> no, 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 no. It was a guy who was like on Farfa's channel. Uh, I watched the video of his and I sat there the whole time like, man, this dude hasn't stopped bitching. He's just. And. Yeah. Like halfway through his, halfway through his forty-minute rant, he's like, "And now, nowadays everything's archetypal. What happened back in my day when everything could just be mixed in with everything? You pulled cards out of your pack and you're like, ignore into this deck. If that Yu-Gi-Oh was still like that, the it would be, be fucked. <laughs> hey, do you not remember like all of the generic cards that are a million dollars? Yeah, because they're generic. Also, mm. like power power creep is bad. Yeah, power creep." Where stuff isn't archetype locked, <laughs> bang, <laughs> is way worse. Oh yeah, um, you don't yeah. even have to go that far back in history to get to like generic stuff either. Nope, it's like twenty thirteen, and it yeah. depends on like how you call generic. Like even stuff that was like 
archetypal but generic enough to summon like fucking oh, Boral just, Sword. Are we just talking about extra deck stuff? Yeah, sorry. Yeah. My brain. Yes. Um, yeah, well, it like wasn't Borals, specifically Borals, that. Like, yeah, Boral Sword, Boral Load at the time when they came out were fucked. Um... What else have we got? Access Big Eye! Code. Big Eye was nuts! Big Eye is nuts again! Is it really? Big Eye's Big in Eye. the format again. Oh. Your opponent makes Big Eye, takes your Kashira card, clears your board. You start playing. Make, make your Big, Big Eye. Eye. Take, take their Big, Big Eye. Eye. Take oh, your card back. Full circle! We've come back to full circle. We are back to Big Eye and Big Eye. Yeah. To then get your own shit back. Yes! <laughs> then people get the extracts mixed up and then you just want to die because your deck list is wrong. Yes. Um, I, I think also if you keep generic stuff if you keep archetype things like extra cards in archetype you have a very good uh, a very good time limiting cards like like not on the banlist or anything but like making them not too strong you can put like restrictions in into the archetype itself that function within the archetype whereas if they're generic you kind of just like slap a soft once a turn on it and you end up with right, a firewall and you go ah, oh, oh shit what do we do uh, my bad. Again, you've got like Firewall Dragon, you've got Nightmare Mermaid, you've got. Weird, they're all links, huh? Fucking Christron Hook of Fibrax. Weird. It, honestly. Because they're the. Well, well, I think Link's also the most generic way to create monsters from the extra deck. Yeah. Like, they don't have the same level, they don't need a tuner, they don't need anything special. Like, it's just monsters. So, it's even more generic when you look at it, but. Yeah, the fact that there were so many links that could summon from deck was actually obnoxious. Let's just stop. I li really like the red on the Savage Dragon's Me too. wrist cups. That's an excellent point for this particular discussion. It is. Well, it's a Savage... Oh, Savage Dragon's was generic. Yeah, you said Savage and I looked at it. Savage Dragon's generic, right? Who does say Savage? He's talking about morals. I, I didn't say Savage, though. Yeah, but he was talking about morals. And my brain went, this is a Boral. Boral. And then I remembered that I really like the reds on Boral Low Dragon. Yeah. And then I was like, the reds on this are really nice as well. And that's where my train of thought went. <laughs> choo choo. Choo choo. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Next question comes to us from uh, Rai Guy. Yes. Uh, which Yu Gi Oh protagonist is the most bullyable? Ah, uh, Cyrus. D did, did you say bullyable or believable? Bullyable. No, Cyrus. You is that the be... clown looking motherfucker? No, it's the, the little dude from GX. Would you count him as a protagonist? Yes. Protagonist? He's, he's, antagonist? He's character? literally in the he's literally he's like Joey isn't a fucking But isn't the protagonist, protagonist like no, he, the, the main character is a reach? <laughs> is the main nah. character a reach? Surely not. Well that's what I mean. in my mind, that, that's what I Yeah, it's whoever the fucking Zexel oh, guy is. Whatever his name is. Oh, oh yeah, bro. fuck that. That guy's the most bullyable. Yeah. Um, or What's maybe seven, whoever one of those two sevens motherfuckers needs to get the shit beat out of them for making sevens yeah. a thing. Yeah, oh yeah, fuck them. Bro. Yeah, the fact that like universally they change the rules of the fucking game because this fucking one kid. fuckhead was like, I want to draw every turn. I want to summon seventeen fucking times. No, fuck that kid. Fuck him. Don't do that. We're not Smash players. Don't. <laughs> do it uh... uh but yeah it's one of those um Xyz guy or change the rules because i'm a fucking moron yeah one of them i'm gonna be honest like anybody after like fairer version of yu i'll beat in a fight you say yeah sure bring him he'll probably be the hardest but like i got it <laughs> I was like, I'm fairly sure you say is the one that'll beat the fuck out of everyone else. Nah, nah. I think I think Pharaoh you Pharaoh you could probably like shin kick me or something, and I'd be like, ah. I don't think he's ever had to have a physical fight in his life. Yeah, I know, but he Season looks zero, like he's fucked Season zero, I'm sure he does something. But yeah, true. Doesn't Kaiba literally fight somebody at some point too? I think so. No, it's this one. Stop! Stop! Give me the things. No. Ah. Yes. Got this I 18th love. million story window off a cliff. I go. <laughs> survive no problem no it's fun. okay they're water <laughs> there's like very clearly all these jagged rocks at the bottom too yeah. they're like ah, I should be right he must be dead nah yeah like, clearly nah next question also from Ragai how far ahead do you think Konami actually designs and plans product <laughs> about that um, nah don't think so OCG wise OCG wise probably like a good four or five months TCG-wise, right. they just look at the OCG and go, Oh, they did that! 
let's copy it but make it worse. Yeah, let's like, how do we make more money off this thing? Okay. Um, I would be shocked if they said the TCG was more than like, in terms of, obviously they'll get art done, they'll get like naming, they'll, they they'll sweat out points. Like, TCG gets none of this stuff done. No, I just mean to like transfer, like get all the text and stuff like on it. I imagine paste. they'll do that, like, yeah. I imagine they'll do that heaps in advance because they can just take all the OCGs, copy paste it and just like slot it in the year and then they just leave it and go, ah, we'll be fine. Imagine being a translator for Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. You just, your whole day is just, they release the card in Japan and it comes in your inbox and you're like, okay. How can I fuck this text up? Um, I'm going to have it search this a spell or trap that only has a one-off yeah, when it's supposed to search random. an archetype that has 17 billion. Add one Despia spell or trap card. Branded? No, no. It's, it says Despia in its name. Despia. It's the one. Fucking dumb. Totally awesome. <laughs> Tree toad. Tree toad. Totally awesome. Yeah, this is this card looks awesome. I want to die. Yeah. Uh, so to answer your question, they two months not. maximum. Um, Whenever that guy gets the translations, yeah, that's when they start thinking about the sets. Uh, the last question for this week comes to us from six r six. How do you avoid getting caught up in the hype of the next set release? Does it depend on what you are yeah. currently playing, or, or are you always looking for the next staple? Depends. I get caught up in hype for set releases if it's a fucking insane set. Like, um, the set that had Sword Soul and Flunderies in it. I was counting the days that set came out from the day it was announced on the OCG. I was like, let's go, let's go. I pre-ordered my case three months in advance and was like, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait, can't wait. Other sets, I'm like, oh, that has this one card? Oh, let's fucking get it when it comes out. And I disregard it until a week before when I find out it's coming out soon. I'm like, oh, oh I should probably get that card. Yeah. There's like, um, there's definitely if you have archetypes you like, or if you have, if you see something in the OCG that works a certain way, and you go, ah, oh, that looks so cool to play. I get pretty hyped around that, or like some support for a deck that you like. Um, but normally, if, if, if something's made a huge splash in the OCG, I'm always super curious to see how it will affect us. So I'm yeah. always, like, waiting for it to come out, because I'm like, how is this going to roll? That's, like, when when Sprite came out and stuff like this. I was like, let's find out. Um, yeah, and it's easy to get caught up when you see something that you think you'll like. Oh, um, Zoo did the, that. Oh, my God, Zoo did that. The best way to avoid it is basically just make sure that, like you're conserving the resource of your money as best as possible so if you see something that you aren't 100 percent sure about like if it's a new archetype and it's sort of making big waves in the ocg and you're like oh this could be actually really good and i kind of need something competitive or should i give this a go jump on the sims uh or dueling with friends um dueling with friends uh yeah, duel, duel with, with some, some friends, friends. Um, and work out whether it's an archetype that you like whether Make it's sure something to that you're with friends using official ocg konami product yeah yeah do that yeah. um so yeah just work out whether it's going to be a worthwhile investment because in an ideal world you're just going to buy everything but it's simply not viable for most people to go out and spend hundreds and thousands of dollars to buy every deck that could possibly come out i would say i wish i spent money on zoo but i had paleo and that was really good zoo like did that thing where people were looking forward to it so much every single card that was in that deck that wasn't in that set just went Whoosh. fire formation tensu tensu for the extra normal yeah yeah it, it skyrocketed combo it skyrocketed oh, it was never used it skyrocketed yeah. because everything that could possibly be used for that deck bayman himself yeah skyrocketed um anything giant that, trainer yeah oh coach king yep. or other. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, there are people just so excited for that deck, especially because it worked kind of differently to how a, a lot of decks had worked it until that point. Um, one card, one card, do it all. One card, the Gusto Emerald, eight dollars. <laughs> yeah, that was the other one. Yeah, Secret Emeralds were like, yeah. MX Saber Invoker, sixty dollars. Oh shit, I forgot about Invoker. Yeah, that shit was pricey until it got reprinted. Then it wasn't. Yeah. But that was after Zoo died, right? No. Uh, I got re I got rich printed. It was Battle of the Legend. Yeah, that year's Battle of the Legend reprinted. Yeah. Yeah. And then it got banned. Yeah. 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 They were like, here's the reprint. 
Buy it, please. Buy the set, buy the set, buy the set, buy the set, buy the set. I remember, I think the most. That set was so fucking good, though. I think yeah, the yeah, most yeah. boxes of a set I've ever seen opened was Bosch, followed by Secret Forces. I remember, like, good games just being. It was just a mountain of just empty boxes. Of and Bosch? Like, pack, yeah, it was just. What a waste. So much stuff. Imagine opening all the packs and not just the six you knew had the high rarity cards in them. When you pre-order cases, Ben, you just got given all of the, the things. Plus, like, supers in that set were money. You got Neptibus, you got Slumber. Neptibus was Ultra how day. I forgot. Yeah. No, no, it was this year. There's still the guy that goes to fucking Comic Gong every year, sets up and his little shop, gosh. and just has a, the only year product he sells. Oh, no, this year he had two different year sets. <gasps> it was loose, pack, loose packs of Bosch and... Star Pack RP. <laughs> ah, yes, oh. Star Pack. He was Highly charging like six dollars per pack of Star Pack. Um, and then Secret Forces. I just so many people. That was, was for like, the opposite reason. Yeah. That one you had to open up. Yeah, Andy. Andy, like, I remember. I think he bought a Brio, opened like six boxes, bought another two Brio. Opened four more boxes. It was something ridiculous. He just like really wanted to. Figured he would hit one of them in the pre-ordered boxes. Didn't. Then yeah, it was just abysmal. The whole thing was abysmal. And meanwhile, I was like, "You need to get some juice." <laughs> <laughs> and then everyone, everyone was like, "Oh, you want some Kama ones? <laughs> you, you want to build ritual beasts?" <laughs> yeah. Oh, I hate that deck. <laughs> you don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. Random Stop. Side tangent before we end the podcast. Remember that random fucking video of that chick that was like, Yu Gi Oh is terrible because they banned yeah. my deck. The deck that I put everything into got banned. It yes. was Ritual Beast, and the guys at Locals gave it to me for free, but it shouldn't have been banned. Yeah. What? Oh my god. What Didn't she weird... claim that it was worth a thousand? Yes. Yeah, that's what I was sitting here thinking about. I was like, she claimed it she... was worth a grand, and yeah. like when she said it was Ritual Beast, I was like, the <laughs> fuck it is. Uh, I, why did that. Uh... Unless your fucking sleeves were gold. I think it's this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. this video. Yeah. Four years yeah, ago, yeah, baby. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. Yeah, big up Farfa for fucking documenting that. Holy shit. Uh, but yeah, basically. Ritual Beast explained that the video is 45 minutes long. No! <laughs> but basically, do your research when you're don't buying into Ritual Beast. new stuff. Well, yeah, definitely don't do that. Um, do your research. Conserve your money where you can. Try not to buy things at release if they're seeming pricey. Unless you feel like it's going to only go up. Because quite often, they come down. Pay $60 for your Fenris on launch and think you're overpaying. Yeah. <laughs> I was like... If pre-order prices are... paid on these. Like, on, this is the thing too. Um, if pre-order prices are acceptable to you in terms of... Yeah, like... It doesn't look like they're overcharging or whatever. And you're happy. Just... And just do it. Play your deck. Play the deck for a long time. You got your money's worth. If it goes down... You got your money's worth. You guaranteed your cards. If it goes up, sick. Yeah, it's much. okay. It's okay. Sometimes it's okay. Sometimes, Sometimes maybe it's good. Right. Sometimes maybe shit. <laughs> uh, but that does conclude us this, for this week. Thank you all very much for watching and listening. Uh, feel free to favorite us on your uh, podcast streaming services. Like us on YouTube and subscribe. Uh, and we will catch you all next week. Peace. Oh, actually, no, don't peace. Uh, one last thing. Um, you may have seen last week we had our Yu-Gi-Oh! Articulate video go up. Um, yeah. If you really liked that video, because we really enjoyed making it, please let us know on the YouTube, and we'll keep doing more. In the Discord. Yes. All right, peace now. Bye.